Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another gadget unboxing and overview. And today, I have the Philips Hue Discovery Floodlight. This heavy-duty exterior floodlight is a great option to use if you need a little extra light around your home or if you're replacing an existing incandescent light fixture. And because it's based on LED technology, it's much more efficient than any of the floodlights you own today, as well as being longer lasting with well over 25,000 hours of rated use. It can generate 2300 lumens of intensity, which is more than enough light for most situations, and it's totally weatherproof with an IP44 rating, which means you can use it in the most inclement weather and not worry about damage in the light. The best part is, it's part of the Philips U family, which means it can generate 16 million different colors, including white, from cold to warm, in a bunch of different shades, all controlled by the application. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product, and then I'll take a much closer look at the light itself and explain the connections you'll need to make to get it working with your own home. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the floodlight, a quick start guide, an instruction manual about the Philips Hue Hub, which I'll talk about in a minute, there's addendums in here that talk about the dangers of electricity, so you have to be very careful of the power off when you're connecting this up. There's also warranty information and a mounting kit. Now this will mount on any exterior four inch box and it mounts flush against the house. So it's a very simple installation. And again, only instructions are included there. Now I mentioned a second ago that you'll want to use it with a Philip Hue hub and that gives you complete control over the light. So you can not only change the color of the light, you can program it, you can send scenes to it so it changes colors at different times during the day. It can also be controlled by your home smart speakers if you've got the Amazon Alexa product or you've got some other smart speakers at home. All of that happens through the hub. So if you don't have a hub already installed, you'll definitely want to add the hub to this system. Now if you stay tuned, I'm going to take a much closer look at the light and explain exactly what kind of connections you'll need to make to get it working at home. Now we'll take a closer look at some of the components included with the product. Inside the package you'll find the floodlight assembly and a hardware kit that makes it really easy to mount this to the side of your home. Inside that hardware kit is an adjustable bracket that mounts to any standard 4 inch electrical box which is the size typically used for outdoor lighting. You'll also find an allen wrench that can be used to adjust the light in this direction or in this direction to give you the perfect angle. You'll find two bolts that attach the base of this to the bracket and two washers to ensure the entire installation is completely watertight. Now the wiring is done inside the enclosure on the other end and you'll find a ground wire, a black wire, and a white wire. Now before you ever start wiring, you want to make sure you turn off the breaker and verify that the power has been turned off. Now inside most 4 inch electrical boxes, you'll find corresponding colored wires. So you'll simply connect up the ground to the ground, the black to black, and the white to white, and you'll do that using a wire nut and you'll basically put both wires together and then twist this on nice and tight. Once it's tight, take some electrical tape and actually tape it to the wire to prevent it from backing off. Once you've made the electrical connections, you'll next take the bracket and then mount that across the four inch box right here using those two screws and tighten that down nice and tight. And then all you have to do at that point is actually attach the light to the box. And the way you'll do that is these two shafts slide down through these two holes and they'll protrude through the front of the lighting assembly. So make sure the wires are tucked down out of the way and you're not catching those when you're putting the bracket through. But once that's up against the side of your house, you can see that those shafts actually protrude through the front. And that's where you'll put on the washer first. And then you'll put the nut on and you'll tighten it up nice and tight. And when you're tightening that up, it actually pulls this base up against the house. Now one recommendation I always have is to add a little bead of caulking around the outside of this to make the back end of it completely watertight. So you'll add both of those nuts and then it's mounted to the house. Now if you need to actually make adjustments in this direction or in sideways direction, you can actually loosen these Allen wrenches right here, these actual bolts, and you'll use the Allen wrench to do that. If you loosen this one, you can move it up and down this way, and if you loosen this one, you can actually move it side to side this way. So it gives you complete adjustment to get that perfect angle on the sidewalk or the driveway, whatever it is you're trying to illuminate. Now if you stay tuned, next I'll show you what it looks like in operation. Now I'll show you the light in operation. I'm using temporary wiring, so we've got plenty of power for the product. I've also connected it up to my Philips Hue hub so I can access it through the application. All I need to do to turn it on is actually hit that button and it comes on. Now I've got the brightness at this point set at about 25%. Now slide this across, that's 50%, that's 75%, and that's all the way up. Boy, is that bright. All right, so right now I've got it in white mode, and I've got a lot of adjustment in there from warm, right there, all the way up to really, really cold. You can see how blue it gets there. And I can also vary the brightness as much as I need to, down to a very low level. 
And the best part is I can display 16 million colors on there. So let me jump into the color scheme and I'll pull it down to blue. There's blue. Let me take it over to green. <laughs> There's green. How about red? That's more of a pink than red. Let me slide it up to red. And again, you can set scenes. You can have this work in conjunction with other lights in your environment. You can pair them together in different rooms so you can turn them all on or all off at the same time. You have a lot of control once you install the application on your phone. You can actually control them through your smart speakers at home. And it really is just that easy to use it. So hopefully you found this clip helpful and I appreciate you watching. So until next time, stay nerdy.